Hi, I'm Elga Valovirta and this is Speed. How to get it, how to use it, part 3. So, on this third episode, we're gonna focus on legato playing, hammer offs and pull offs. Again, I want you to dial in a sound that's mildly overdriven. That way you hear all the mistakes and if the notes aren't clean and stuff. And then when you add your regular sound, maybe a bit more gain and overdrive, suddenly everything feels a lot easier. Example one, very simple, but very effective. And definitely after you've done this, you feel the burn in your fingers, muscles. The idea is that you pick the first note on each string. It goes like this. Exercise 12. And I forgot to mention, link to the tabs are in the description below. This is another really good strengthening exercise and you should feel the burn. And if you're not able to do this whole exercise at once, don't worry, it's even hard for me. It goes like this. Exercise 13. Again, don't use pick. This is kind of symmetrical shape in the style of the late greats Edward Van Halen and Dimebag Darrell. And on the tabs, I put it like two times each string, but you can do more, or you can just stay in the beginning, just in, on the high E string, like. It goes like this. Exercise 14. This is also symmetrical shapes in the style of uh, Edward Van Halen and Dimebag Darrell, especially Edward. I want you to do this in four different ways. This is also a right hand exercise. So first you start by doing only legato style, so that you pick the first note on each string. And so on. And then I want you to use alternate picking to pick all the notes. And then I want you to pick every second string using alternate picking and legato. So like this. And then vice versa, so you use legato on the first string. This is very good uh, coordination exercise for your both hands. Goes like this. Thank you. 
those were four really good leg out exercises, in my opinion, at least what I use when I warm up and just to keep my chops up, really feel the burning in my fingers, muscles. One bonus exercise, I was asked to show an exercise that focuses only on right hand. Well, I think all of the previews, the alternate picking, they are made for right hand too, but let's forget the, the, the left hand. This is sometimes what I do if I'm just watching TV or something, just to pick. So it goes like, you pick like... like straight eights. Then you pick trios. And then 16th notes. And then, you know, you do this all in a row with all strings. And so on. And try to keep your, like I mentioned on the previous lessons to your right hand here. Then this is also a cool way to get to know your guitar. You know, because if you keep your hand here, there's no palm muting. When you move it on top of the bridge, a little bit further there's more. So this is also a good way to practice different palm muting's just using your right hand. Thanks for watching. Until next time, take care.